So people, this Diamond League in Gateshead, England, would have solved the problem of the whole Omar McLeod fiasco. Yeah? People, the man went into the press conference and he talked a whole lot of things. Some people would say he was throwing shades. Some people uh, would say that there was a lot of subliminals in his speech in the press conference. And it sounded as if he was going to run a blistering time according to what persons are theorizing. Yeah? People, welcome to the coach's desk with your host, Coach Minzy. And we will be taking it from trackside. All right, so before we jump into this matter that we want to talk about, this Omar McLeod saga, people. Let's let's look at, let's look on uh, your 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 job that you have been doing, which is very 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 well appreciated. Thanks very much. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining the family. Um, thanks for telling uh, your friends about Coach's Desk. Yeah, really appreciate it. So I know that many of you really really want Omar McLeod to be at the championship which is the Olympic. He's the reigning champion. And many of you would want him to go there and defend his title. No two ways about that. He, he, he's not in a, in, a, in, in a bad form. He's in good nick. And we would have wanted to see him. But I always say this to the people, track and field fans. You see this early thing? It's... It's 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 a it's an obstacle race. Can't put no pot for a fire. Can't put no pot for a fire. Especially especially when over the years throughout the history of this event, Omar would have been the only one who would have gotten through being the height that he is. This event is is basically for persons over six six feet. And he, he, at, at, at college, he was doing exceptionally well, and he got the name Mr. Smooth. Now, he would have changed coach for, um, coaches rather for, for some times. And, I mean, that possibly could have affected his whole Mr. Smooth. Because, people, when I look at Omar McLeod running, you know, very fast, but somehow, I think there is a lack of control from him in terms of clearing the hurdle. Now, watch this. When Omar ran the 13 this season, if you look at the race, if you go back and look at the race, he had an excellent race, meaning he did not touch a single hurdle. That tells me that if Omar McLeod wants to do well in this event, Every single time he touches the track and compete, he would have had to have, have a flawless race. Yeah? No touching of the hurdles. All right. So, backtracking a little bit to the, 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 the Jamaica trials. He, he made a complaint um, talking about what transpired. He, he went, uh, I hear the commentators um that were commentating on the race at Gates said talking about the same issue because he made it public that um, they ran late in the evening, he went home, whatever, whatever happened, and he had to wake up early to beat the traffic to be back at the event for such an early start. Right? So, I mean, and I don't want anybody to take this personal, Omar McLeod, it's nothing personal. I'm just giving my point of view on this. And fans of Omar McLeod, don't take it personal. This is my opinion on the matter. Alright? So, he spoke his mind, which I, I, I think it was a fair assessment. But why didn't Omar McLeod utilize a medical exemption? That's a question I'm asking. Um, why didn't he approach the organizer, uh, organizers in the morning 
to have some sort of exemption. He's the reigning Olympic champion, and I do believe that they possibly would have done something for him. Yeah? He went into the race. All the athletes were faced with the same issues, same situation. It's not like it was an Omar McLeod alone situation. No. So, he went into the race. He ran. He clipped an hurdle. A hurdle, sorry. And that would have allowed him to finish down the track. Eighth place. Yeah? All the three persons, the top three persons who passed the line were actually um, running the qualifying time. So most of them ran, all three of them ran 13-1. Right? So it would be very difficult for the organizers to remove one of these persons just for the sake of the reigning champion to get a look in. No, I, I don't think it would have been fair. Yeah? These gentlemen would have been preparing hard. I said it before, the, the, this, this fellow, uh, Damian Thomas, he would have had a, 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 a torrid time at the um, Divisional 1 Outdoor Championship, NCAA, and, and he, he bounced back, he got things right, and he made it. He came second in that race. Ronald Levy won, and third place, um, Hansel Parchment. Now, the fact is that Omar had to make a point in this event today at Gateshead. It was like a grudge match, people. Yeah? So, in my estimation, he, he, he basically wanted to go out there, run a fast time, and also beat the national champion, which is Ronald Levy. Yeah? So, many persons were saying, yes, this is his opportunity. Now, if you observe the race like I did, Omar got a brilliant start. But he was not far away from Ronald Levy. You know what caused Omar McLeod that race, people? Tell me. Just, just put it, just, just tell me. Well, this, this, this should be uploaded after, so you're going to be, be seeing it. He hit a hurdle, people. That what, that's what cost him the race with Ronald Levy. He, hit, he, he lost his form because Ronald Levy was breathing down his neck. Yeah? Ronald, and, and, and the fact of the matter is, it, it, it reminds me of Usain versus Justin Gatlin. When Justin Gatlin was supposed to win that race, but because Usain was close, Usain kept his form like Ronald Levy kept his form, held his form. Um, it wasn't perturbed by who was beside him, left or right. He was just concentrating on his lane. Right? Ronald Levy continued um, um, hurdling. Omar McLeod clipped the hurdle. I think it was the ninth hurdle. And when he was to go over the tenth hurdle, he jumped rather than hurdle it. So, 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 so Levy was able, because he held his farm, was able to pass him over the, fa the, the last hurdle. Are you going to tell me that Omar will not be making another mistake at the Olympic? Come on, people. If you're watching Omar McLeod for a long time, you would have known that this is not the Mr. Smooth we know about. The closest that I've seen this Mr. Smooth was the 1301 that he ran. He touched no hurdle whatsoever. Yeah? So, I mean, a lot of people have been hearing saying that justice was served. And it's not even about justice was served. I think Omar McLeod is having issues hurdling. Many might not see it or agree with me, but I, I'm a keen observer when it comes on to track and field, when it comes on to detail. And I'm certain if, if Omar is fair to himself, and he watches those races, he would realize that he's having some trouble. Yeah? And I mean, next year's world championship, he needs to fix that. Because, because of his height, because of his height, he has no room, no space for mistake. Because of his height. I want to hear you comment down below in the comment section, people. I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, so Ronald Levy won that event 13.22, 
McLeod, second, 13.42. Posse, 13.45. Dunning, 13.71. And Broadbell, 13.84, who seem to be uh, not fully um, recovered from his, his, his mishap early season. So, people, share your comments down below in the comment section. Tell me what are your thoughts about this observation from the coach's desk where Omar McLeod is concerned. Yeah? Thanks again for tuning in, man. Really appreciate it. And, um, like I said, I'm awaiting. I'm looking forward to your comments in the comment section on this situation. I know some people are going to say they don't care. He should be there. As the reigning champion. And I will say it again. The organizers of the Olympic. And the world championship. They should allow the reigning champions. As long as they are not hurt. They should allow the reigning champions. To go to the event. To defend their title. That's all I'm saying. Again. Big up yourselves. Peace out.